Uh, hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at how to code the local question 415 at strings in Python. So given two non-negative integers, num1 and num2, represented as string, return the sum of num1 and num2. So in the note, um, there, uh, there is a requirement that you must not use any building big integer library or convert this inputs to string directly. So what this means is, for example, if we want to add 1 to 3, uh, and add, let's see, 98 together. Um, so what the, what, uh, hold on one second. So what um, the question asks us to do is just like what we learned in elementary school uh, to add the numbers together. So 3 plus 8 is 1, but there is a is 11, so here is 1, and there is a carry value of 1. 2 plus 9 is uh, 11 again, but there is a carry value of 1, so it should be 2 here. And uh, 1 plus 0 is 1, but there is a carry value, so the result should be 2 to 1. So... So that's exactly what the question asks us to do because we don't have any building functions to use. Uh, we have to like just code it. Um, okay, so what we did is traversing from right to left uh, for num1 and num2 and have a carry value. If, uh, if there is a carry value, we'll add the carry value um, and uh, return uh, the, the results in a string. So let's try to put this into code. So um, let's initialize the result as an empty string, i as the index that we are tra traversing through right to left, so I will initialize it as lens num1 minus 1. And j is lens num2 minus 1. Eh, wait, 1. Okay, and um, let's see. And we initialize carry as 0. So what it does is that... Um, so we are going from right to left. So for num1, 1 to 3, the, the length of num1 is 3. So this is the uh, zeros position, the first position and the second position. And we want to traverse from the rightest position. So it's length num1 minus 1. So j, we are also going through this position and this position. So going backwards. Uh, and carry, we just initialize this to zero. So, okay. So while i is greater or equal to zero, or j is greater or equal to zero, or um, carry greater than zero. So we are trying to say that if there is any thing that are left for us to traverse. So if i is greater or equal to zero, um, carry should be uh, the num1 at index position i, and i should minus equal to 1. So what this does is that, um, remember we're at index position right here, and uh, so num1 at the i position is 3, right? But this is, uh, this is a string, but we want to 